JMU baseball, a doubleheader this afternoon. On a sunny afternoon in the Shenandoah Valley, the Dukes and the Highlanders of New Jersey Institute of Technology. Attempts off the end of the bat, but deposited into shallow center field. The Dukes will take an early 1-0 lead as Sisk will trot in. I you know it was awesome for our guys to come back from behind. You know, obviously uh, Sisk got a big at bat. And you know, drove in the winning run, you know, but the guys in front of them got on base when we needed to. And you know, I was just proud of how, how our guys competed all, all that first game. I mean, seven inning games, I don't like having them, but, uh, you know, playing playing four games on a weekend series, it just worked out that way. So I'm just glad we got a chance to uh, have the last one in the bat there. Moving around, now he'll settle in, and he'll lace it into left field, and it's going over the head of the left fielder, and the Dukes will win the ball game. Adam Sisk with a walk-off that gives the Dukes the 9-8 to eight victory. The biggest thing for us today was we just didn't get the big hit in game two. And, you know, I was proud of the way our guys, you know, competed as the game went on. You know, we just didn't get the big hit. And we had, we left we left a lot of guys on base in that second game. We just didn't get the big hit when we needed it. And uh, they did a good job, you know, of extending the lead when they needed to. And, uh, you know, we couldn't stop them. So, you know, just one of those games when we were playing that, that much baseball in one day. So, you know, getting the split was uh, was good. But, you know, in college baseball, anything can happen. That ball's hit into center field, well hit by Shore going back, and it is off the top of the wall. It's a home run. It hits the purple piping at the top.